Hi guys, I'm Julian Bradley from practiceroomhero.com. Got another jazz piano lesson for you. Today we're going to look in depth into all seven church modes. So you may have heard of words like Dorian mode, the Phrygian mode, the Lydian mode, the Locrian mode, Mixolydian mode. Well, today we're going to look in depth into all of these modes. There's going to be a lot of information, but I'm going to keep it interesting by looking at popular music examples. So we've got some Michael Jackson, some Brian Adams, Phil Collins, um, and even some 50 Cent as well in there. So a big variety of music. And let's get straight to it, and I'll see you on the other side. So first of all, what is a mode? Well, let's take a scale, in this case C major. It's all the white notes. So it's only C major though, because we're treating C as the bass note, as the root of the scale. But what we can do is take that same collection of notes and then start building it off each, each note of the scale. So here I'm treating D as the root of the scale. And I get a minor sounding kind of thing. It's actually the Dorian mode, which we're going to talk about in a minute, which has a very different sound to C major. Then I could build the same set of notes, all the white notes, off E. Eastern sounding kind of mode. That's going to be called the Phrygian, we'll get to that in a minute. We'll do the same with F. Get this very bright sounding mode. And I can carry on and do that with each with each root note. And uh, each scale has a very different character. Even though it's the same same set of notes, each scale has a completely unique character. So to start with, let's take C Lydian. Oh, the other thing, by the way, I'm going to I'm going to treat C as the root for all of these, so that way you can really clearly see which notes I've sharpened and which notes I've flattened for each mode. So to start with, C Lydian scale. So the Lydian scale is basically a major scale, but with a sharp four. the brightest of the church modes. So that's one famous uh, piece of music that, that uses the Lydian scale. Actually a lot of film music, a lot of TV series use this mode because it's kind of this very bright sound. Uh, I know the blockbuster commercial ended with something like this. that kind of sharp four that you're listening out for. And the characteristic chords for this would be C major and D major. And uh, with, with each of these modes, it's, it's a lot of it is about which chords you're using to create that sound. Because if I'm playing C major and E minor, that's not creating that Lydian sound. But if I play C major, D major, then that does create the Lydian sound. So the next mode would be C Ionian scale, uh, basically a posh way of saying C major. So I've just unsharpened the four basically. We don't need to spend time on this, plenty of songs are in the major mode or the Ionian mode. is worth saying though is that the characteristic chords for the Ionian mode are the 1, the major 1 chord, the major 4 chord and the major 5 chord. So the next mode we're going to look at is C Mixolydian. It's basically a major scale but with a flat 7. And this is kind of quite a cheesy sound. Ghostbusters, then we got 
Phil Collins Susudio. And the characteristic chords for this scale are the major 1 chord, the major 4 chord, in this case F major, and the major flat 7 chord, so in this case B flat major. A lot of blues music as well uses the Mixolydian mode. So the next mode is going to be the Dorian mode. This is basically a minor scale, but with a, a major sixth. And this mode is going to be a favourite of a lot of people, uh, my mum included. Every time I play any piece that's in the in the Dorian mode, and she's not even musical, she'll always say how nice it is. A lot of Michael Jackson uh, pieces are in the Dorian mode. between the minor 1 chord and the major 4 chord, which is F major in C, C Dorian. Another Michael Jackson, I guess, thriller. And then, if you want a jazz example, let's take So What by Miles Davis. taking D minor, going to C minor. Uh, the Dorian mode is also used a lot in funk music. So the next scale will be the Aeolian mode. Aeolian is just the posh word for minor, the natural minor scale. Uh, again, like with the major scale, a lot of pieces use this. Don't really need me to give examples, but... Uh flat 6. You're just listening out for the flat 6. Um, the characteristic chords for the Aeolian scale would be the minor 1, the minor 4, so F minor, and the minor 5. Also though, you know, the kind of the flat 6 major, so A flat major, and also the flat 7 major, so B flat major. Okay, so the next mode will be C Phrygian, the Phrygian mode. It's got that flat 2, which is a very distinctive, very eastern sound. A 
lot of kind of hip hop R&B kind of songs use this but actually what's quite common with this one is to alter the third so instead of having a minor third you can alter alter the third and sharpen it to a major, a major third a lovely scale if you're going to be doing anything that you if you want to sound eastern in any way that's usually what composers will do and the characteristic chords for the Phrygian mode are the minor one so C minor and the flat two major so that's D flat major okay and to end with we have the Locrian mode And this is kind of an anticlimactic ending to this video because really there's not much you can do with the Locrian mode and uh, certainly no popular music has ever been written to my knowledge. So if you've made it this far, well done, seriously, that was a lot of information we just went through. Uh, but now it's question time and I want to ask you guys if you can think of a popular music example other than the ones I played that uses any of these church modes that we've just gone through. So maybe the Dorian, the Mixolydian, um, maybe the Phrygian. Uh, if you can think of anything, please uh, type in the comments box below this video. I'm pretty good at reading the comments and I'll get back to you. And uh, also, if you found this video useful, I'd really appreciate if you click the thumbs up button in the bottom left. And if you're new to my channel, please check out my channel and subscribe. There's over three hours of jazz piano lessons and other music theory lessons and I post new videos every week so thanks a lot for watching and I look forward to seeing you next time. Have you had enough of playing overly simplified jazz pieces like this one? Do you want to play what the professional jazz musicians actually play? Well now you can with Julian Bradley's Jazz Hero ebook series which sets a new standard in jazz piano music from bebop to blues, lounge piano to Latin styles, each book features a different piano composition and comes packed with the following. A detailed full score clearly transcribing the melody, chord voicings, bass lines, dynamics, articulation and pedal markings. I've even included one of my own jazz improvisations, fully notated for you to play, which is something you won't find elsewhere. A chord sheet complete with my own suggestions for scales to use, and bring your playing to life with my accompanying MP3 audio tracks. Now you can perform to a live rhythm section recording and master improvisation the smart way. So take advantage of my introductory offer on Dancing With You, which is the first ebook in the series, discounted at jazzherobooks.com. Experience a new standard of jazz book and take your playing to a whole new level today.